Rocket fans, and welcome to uh, another small update. Don't worry, today we are not going to talk about parachutes, not directly at least. Today we are going to talk about the talk about the space capsule. Yes, and today is an interesting day because we are finally rebooting our space capsule project. Um, Bash brought this with him, mostly to show that this nice curve that you figured out at some point what, in the last five years. I like curves. Yeah, you like curves. Uh, this should be the uh, re-entry um, geometry for yeah. the capsule. And so at some point we need to recreate this and then shove it underneath this, put something that looks like a seat inside of it. And we have Randy over here who really wants to ride this capsule into the sea or maybe a pool near us. Yeah. So. The plan for the near future basically is that for this space capsule here, we are going to put in a new seat, maybe one we're going to buy, maybe that one that we're going to finish up. And then we will add the uh, suspension system to it, the uh, damper, so that uh, we will figure out how to uh, make the landing more soft for the astronaut. And from a previous test we did some years ago, we learned back then at what angle roughly we're going to uh, hang the space capsule. So it will probably be around this 40 degrees. And the reason for that is, so that is the angle at which the space capsule will carve itself into the water uh, in the most soft way, you could say, to, to, uh, to make a, a soft, the softest possible landing. And we're going to take this space capsule here and drop that into uh, the harbor here in Copenhagen and then basically measure up what will the g-forces be uh, in that landing. And from that, we're going to uh, learn a lot, I hope. So hopefully. Um, but yeah, that is the plan for the near future. Um, so hopefully, we get to see our test dummy have some very interesting rides into the harbor. And uh, you're going to see us cut a massive hole into this on the side. And maybe try out some uh, exit strategies as well for the near future to see if we can get our astronaut out of the capsule again after it's landed. So that is, of course, another thing that we, uh, we will use this capsule for. That is to, to figure out uh, the best shape, the best geometry for the, uh, for the door uh, of this capsule, and then uh, try out many different ways of getting out of, of it as, uh, as fast as possible in order to investigate what will uh, be the best method uh, should we need to, to exit the capsule in a damn hurry. And I mean, this old frame that this uh, capsule sits in can also be uh, tilted up to try different angles. So we can see what will happen if we do different buoyancy, um, I guess, uh, settings, not settings, but uh, tryouts or locations. Yeah, or and, and, and center of masses and stuff exactly. like that. Um, so yeah, that's try and build a capsule. Mm -hmm. And uh, once uh, Randy has approved the, uh, the landing, uh, I'm sure that uh, Oliver has promised that uh, he will, after a Christmas dinner, take the uh, ride as well into uh, the harbor. This, this, was not, this was not part of the deal. He said yes. Okay, great, super. That sounds amazing. At what time would, would that be? In the winter? Most likely in the winter, later in the evening. Uh, but you will be warmed up by a lot of snaps, so don't worry. Great. That sounds amazing. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? 